Today marks the 43rd posthumous birthday of former beauty queen and entrepreneur Ibiduni Igodalo, who died exactly three years ago. And her foundation chose to reach out to the needy just as she would have done. It is willing to offer supportive IVF intervention for women seeking to be mothers for two weeks beginning from today and in line with her core area of interest. Senior correspondent Jacqueline Ogo reports. Ibiruni Itwa Igodalo would have been 43 on the 19th of July. But there is something that keeps her husband's heart warm, which he wants the world to help him keep alive in memory of his late wife. And it is the Ibiruni Igodalo Foundation, keeping her legacy alive. Her foundation decided to celebrate her birthday posthumously with a philanthropic gesture at the Ibeduleke General Hospital Akodo, with special attention on the mother and child units. The foundation, which offers financial support for free IVF to women, came to the hospital with several gifts for mothers and their children. In the hospital wards, some patients had their bills picked up by the foundation, including a woman who lost her baby during birth. Pastor Itwai Godalo describes the gesture as highly fulfilling. Her last wish before she passed was to give at least 40 IVFs to 40 couples because she was going to be turning 40 the year of her departure. So we still continue that tradition. The chief medical director and CEO of Ibeduleki General Hospital, Akodo, is glad that Ibiduni Igodalo who gave many gifts in her lifetime, is still given after death. At times we have shortage of um, to house more babies. And with two new incubators, that means we have space to keep these ones once they come. And we other gifts to our patients. And even with paying so the bill of some of our indigent patients, they are mind-blowing and they are relieving. Ibidoni's mother, who was present, finds it tough to describe the unique daughter she lost to the cold hands of death. She's a fantastic daughter to me. Honestly, I don't want to say anything about her because I'm still grieving. But thank God for her life. She's so generous and sincere daughter, loving, caring, it is well. Whether alive or in death, we still celebrate that life, the life that lived to express the love of God. What better way to remember her than to come to places that she loved to go to? So usually the 19th of July, the registration portal for all those who want to be a part of our IVF process will be opened in our website, www.ebidunigodalofoundation.org. Some come to this world and they leave, and all people remember is the trouble they caused. Ibiduni Igodalo came with sunshine. She left sunshine behind, and in debt, she is still saving lives. That's something to bear in mind. Jacqueline Ogo, TVC News, Lagos. I